What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? Uh, here's the thing. Um, we, we, we make a lot of friends doing what we do. <laughs> and you're looking at the screen at one of my favorite friends here creating content. Because, and here's how we make friends. See, unlike my friend here, who Tom Warren, if, if you guys can't see, uh, the person up on the screen is Tom Warren, and he, friends like Tom, work for publications that you know are predicated on clicks and attention and and traffic and stuff like that, and. They sit in their boardrooms and they try to come up with the, the catchiest thing that's going to drive attention to what they do while at a topical landscape, they just try to graze um, information out there factually. And what they're trying to pick up more than than a, a deep rooted uh, factual story is they're looking for something that grabs attention is what I'm saying in so many words. OK, so people like Tom who are predicated in avenues like that. And they didn't create this dynamic, they're just in it. They get a lot of attention, therefore they got a lot of names and numbers and tweets and stuff like that next to their names and blue check marks, all right. Well, as you can see here, our friend blocked us, okay? He felt some type of way because even though he's based in that world, we as content creators are based in another world where we dig deeper. Okay. And if you have a good content creator that's just not trying to get clicks like the bigger names, you know what I'm saying? They're not just trying to be smaller versions of, of these people. Then we dig deeper, we get more factual, and, we, and we're on top of things a lot faster than, than people like Tom and his group, The Verge. So when our two worlds collide and they, from a topical point of view, try to just sell you something that they think is going to get a lot of attention but we swoop them behind them and we say uh-uh scrub that this has to be you know this has to be rooted in the fact and we start kicking the tires people like tom don't like that and then hence why we get blocks and, that, and that's what predicated this block right here nonetheless it still isn't going to stop us uh-uh uh-uh <laughs> um tom is one that does not talk highly of stadium and that's fine. There's a lot of people that do it. And again, they're doing it for clicks and attention. However, you would believe that based upon that, Tom doesn't like Stadia, doesn't think it's worth the time, right? And he's he's echoed some close to those sentiments him and his publication has. However, when Tom was asked, why are you using Stadia when he complained that Stadia wasn't available on a third-party browser, you know what I'm saying? Or one opposite of one that Google has complete control over. He said, why not use it? It's good. And my jaw hit the basement floor, just like this person's did. Because as much as he rows against the platform, why are you using it? It doesn't make sense, Tom. And because it doesn't make sense, we're again gonna swoop in and try to make sense of it. We're gonna get deep into facts. We're gonna look at evidence. We're gonna look at activity and we're gonna try to make sense of all this, all right? So in order for you to be part of that discussion, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, all right? This is gonna be broken down in a two part series. You know what I'm saying? And that series is called the Tom Warren Stadia Paradox because this has this doesn't make sense but we're going to make sense of it it's broken into two parts you will see links below to both of those videos okay start off with part one then you'll see a link to part two and then we finish off with part two all right we're doing that on the new home for the stadia dosage platform which is over at the stadia dosage uh youtube channel all right go link sub and follow there and like and share you know what i mean do all that stuff all right, and then hopefully we can make sense again of what's Tom agenda, what, what, what is Tom's agenda with, with all this, right? Okay, so again, head on over to the home of the Stadia Dosage platform now in 2020, okay? We got the link to that below once you go click on the videos, right? And go follow us there. And then again, be part of the discussion and give us your thoughts, all right? And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.